Hey, what's up, guys? Chris from the Moochers. Just doing this week's CWL recap. As you can see, we matched against War Kings this week. Uh, we won by 10. Uh, 10 star difference, uh, like just over 1% uh, total destruction. So um, they didn't get too many free attacks with their Town Hall 10. Uh, I think they only hit Blue Penguin there once. Um, so. We had a hero advantage in the nines, and we took complete advantage of it. Um, they had to do quite a few dips on ours. Uh, and we actually were able to clear all the nines, and I think we had like 10 scout hit tax left with our nines or something, something crazy. So, um, good war to these guys. They're, they're a pretty good group of guys. Uh, they're easy to work with, and good luck to them going forward. I'm going to go ahead and jump into this on 29, I believe I've got Lopez. So he's doing this witch walk. Uh, dude, there's just, there's nothing I can even say. Witches are just stupid right now. So, starts him out on the corners, gets this beautiful funnel going in, drops in a couple of wizards to help out. And I mean, he's going to break in a double jump. I mean, this long compartment that's right here and right here is just no good, in my opinion. It literally just lets you walk straight through the entire core of the base. He doesn't have to worry about the CC. I don't think his queen touched any of it. Um, he just poisoned it and kind of let it roll. So these witches are still going around the edges. They're coming up to the Tesla farm. And there's a wizard tower there. So that's going to give him a little bit of trouble. So... These witches that are coming over here at uh, 9 o'clock are really going to be what makes this. Um, as you can tell, Archer Queen still had the ability, just burned it. I mean, just look at all the skeletons. <laughs> it's crazy. So, nice solid witch walk by Lopez on this one. Sorry I sped it up on your buddy, but those suckers are slow. <laughs> All right, I'm going to jump up here to 27. I've got JWK. He's running this uh, <clears throat> Gobolo. He's actually going to come in from up here, which is a great entry. I mean, all the air defenses are there. This long compartment with this expo in it draws the queen. So, um, you know, he really did his homework with this one. Brings in his wall breakers. I mean, he's looking pretty good. Um, Hound CC. So the queen is basically taken out uh, just by the um, the actual kill squad itself. His uh, his queen gets held up between the the hound and the town hall there. So. She's going to jump over, and she's going to keep doing work. He still has the ability to burn on her, and then drops in his hounds and his loons. I mean, he got, like, every air defense. <laughs> so, um, clean up. He's got plenty of clean up troops, and he's got the heel just sitting there on the reserve. So, the padding was just there. I mean, everything about this attack screams, you know, three. When with the swag. <laughs> that was a great hit by Juno on that one, man. That was awesome. Alright, I'm going to jump up here to 25. Inbots Maiden. So, let's run the Lalo on this one. Drops in the loon, draws the CC out. He's going for the hero swap. Queen's just going to maul over that CC. The drag low is just not a good CC comp. Uh, it's different. I like different, but the poison just does too much damage on that. So he's already gotten the queen. And basically now he's just going to let his queen just kind of walk by herself and fade out.
and then he just goes ahead and jumps right into the Lalo. Gets these two Teslas over here. Um, Air Sweeper gives him a little bit of trouble, but he, uh, he times it down pretty well, so the, the funneling for those loons is just on point. He's going to bring in this Rage soon. Nice heal. My Rage is going to speed him straight over to that Expo and that uh, Air Defense. I mean, the rest of it's rip. I mean, he's got that air defense and then the two uh, archer towers that are left to hit his loons. And he's got so many lava pups down here. It's just ridiculous. So he'll drop in his couple of minions. His archer. And I'll go ahead and finish this one out. Nice hit by Maiden. GG. So I'm going to jump uh, up to 21. Smelly Reefer. I get to say that name every war. <laughs> So he starts out with his Wiz here on Town Hall. Uh, he's got some archers spread out around just to kind of make sure that he goes ahead and gets those out of the way. And then he's going to find any troll Teslas that'll be out there because a lot of times when bases are shifted over like this, there's going to be one way out there. So um, perfect funnel. Can't ask for much more. Gets his kill squad going in. He's going to rage into that queen. Poison the CDC. Finds the Tesla farm. Um, he shaded that jump just right to get his bowlers into that, but the king was already on his last leg, so they didn't they didn't get too much tanking in front of him, so they fade out, but there's no DPS on his backside. Excuse me. There's no DPS over here by the Barb King, so I mean those hogs were able to just come straight around and he was able to save that heal going into those uh Teslas. So this base, you know, it looks pretty and all, but he find he's gonna find the weak spots. It's a great hit by Reef on that one. Nothing wrong with some stone hobo. Alright. Got gummy pop hero nineteen. Get to say that name every recap too. Those are two fun ones. Alright, so I actually, I really like this attack. Um, you see he's got barbarians, because why the hell not? But, uh, I don't know, there's just, this was just fun to watch. I think I've watched this attack like four times, so. Great hit, man. Really, really dig it. So he's just going to break into there. He set that funnel up just right. Point on the CC. He's got his king in there. It's fried. But his queen's going to clean up all this crap. So he goes ahead and he didn't want to, I could tell, um, to burn that other poison. But he didn't get much choice when that king died so soon. So regardless, take down the queen. And now it's time to go to work. I like that he, he dropped his hounds all the way over. <clears throat> My queen's still over there cleaning. And then, I mean, the rest of this is just Rip City. He's got Teslas that are going to pop up. So he saved that haste. Um, don't think it really mattered either way. <laughs> Now, clean up, he's got his barbarians. He spreads them out on all of these big storages. <laughs> you know, Gummy, that there's these little green things called goblins. They, uh, they do like times four damage or something stupid on storages. 
greedy little bastards. You could have saved me a minute of this recap. <laughs> no, nah, man, that was a great hit. Really glad to see it. Uh, uh, that was just, like I said, man, that was fun to watch. The hero swap, you know, a little deeper inside the base. It's not exactly common, so nice hit. All right, I'm going to hit 17 here. This is Kevin. And, I mean, he just... I mean, hero swap, again, basically just a straight Lalo after that. Looks like King created a little bit of a funnel there. Now you see he burned that ability so early uh, I didn't get to show his other attack because he missed his ability. You bastard. But he still got the three on that one as well. He swagged the ability. so um, Kevin had a great war. Really showed why he's uh, he's one of the officers in the clan. And clean up loon. Boom. Troll Tesla. I mean his, his lava pups here just do work so it was really, you know, really nice to see him pull this one out of the books. I mean, he just, he crushed this base. <laughs> it, was, it was ridiculous. I mean, that was two minutes of a raid, and it was probably about 45 seconds was actually clean up. So <laughs> that was a great hit, Kevin. Nice job. So I'm going to hit 16 here. Uh, it's Mook. And again, we're going with the Witch Walk here. And he's going to start him at 9 and 12. And you see that there's these two wizard towers that are right here. Um, it doesn't matter. <laughs> He's got two healers hitting his witches. I mean, at the end of the day, the witches will take out those, those wizard towers by themselves. So, um, you know, they're, they're going to have to figure out something uh, super solo with these witches to kind of bring them back to you know, Town Hall 9 specs because this is unreal. But until then, we'll use them and keep crushing bases, man. I mean, you know, he just... It slows it down, coming around the side here uh, at 9. But, you know, given time, he makes it through no problem. And meanwhile, the other side, the same thing's going down. Those healers are getting fried by the uh, the air defenses. So, you know, he just tanks through it. The core got demolished. Um, this Tesla farm down here is going to be a little bit of trouble. But you'll see in about 50 seconds it, it just can't stand up to the healers and the witches. I mean, it's just not too many Town Hall 9 bases can, so it's just an OP attack. He still has his ability. And I think he swags it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. I think he got about as tired as I did waiting for it to finish. <laughs> Mook, that was a solid hit, man. Nice job. Right. Uh, 15 here. It's Eagle. And he's got this, like, AIDS funnel with these wizards. But it's a stone hobo. He's only brought 11 hogs. Uh, I just... He throws down the earthquakes, and he's got 10 wizards to funnel. All of a sudden, I feel like I'm, you know, just started playing the game again, and I don't know what I'm doing. So, <laughs> um, set the edge. He's got some some wizards and some minions for that. So, he's going to set the edge here. He's going to drop in a couple of golems. Finds these Teslas. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, Wizards are going to take out those uh, those mortars and let those golems redirect 
straight inside where he wanted him to go to begin with, so the Teslas weren't able to really mess up his funneling at all. And I mean, like this, let me slow it down. This big core right here that he's coming through right now uh, is so big that it actually causes his troops to kind of split up while they're still in the same room. So, um, could have gotten a little sloppy on that, but. As you can see, like his queen ran out of the base. Didn't really matter at the end of the day. Uh, there was so much that was close to the core that, you know, you, you can see this expo targeting the golem, for God's sake. I mean, like, you know, it, when that's what you're trying to build around, you want what kids goes into the core to get targeted by defenses. Like, you need to make it targeted by all defenses. You can't just have it, the expo is going to cover this because that's just opening up for these hogs to come in. He drops in his loon for cleanup. I mean, this was a sweet plan. And then now this, everything does work on cleanup. So, get out the broom. That was it, man. I just hit eagle. And next I'm going to jump to, I think, 14 here. Uh... Yeah, this is cool. It's another one of our officers um, putting in a lot of work for us, and we really appreciate all that him and Kevin have been doing. And honestly, the rest of the nines, there's, there's been a huge improvement. Um, nines have been a bit skeptical. Uh, you know, it's like this; it just wasn't there. So the last like week, our nines have just been crushing it, and. They really are the reason why people win wars at the end of the day. You know, if you can get scouts, you need to clean bases and you need to get scouts for the big guys up top. That's what it, you know, all boils back down to. And, you know, they really stepped up big this war. So, definitely props to them for that. So, another witch walk. Um, as you can tell, everything funnels into the core like he wanted it to. These bowlers are going to, and the BK are going to help take out that queen. He's going to hit the, the CC with a poi. He didn't bring the double poi. He brought a skelly. So he's got witches still coming around the edges. Now he's got this baby dragon that's been doing work. So, um, you know, too bad for that, but the queen steps up finally and takes it down. Um, he's going to burn his Barb King ability. Queen's going to come around. Of course, she's not going to take that jump. She's going to hit the town hall from there. So, Witch is still coming around the bend. Notice this one witch up top. That's just tanking. <laughs> So basically what's coming right around here at 6 is going to wrap around the entire base. He's got two Wiz and an Archer left to help clean up with those uh, those minions he just dropped in. Giant bomb, who cares? i got healers. Another one. And notice he still has a Queen ability. He can pop that right up here, speed this up a little bit. But he didn't really need to. Nice hit by Ghoul. All right, here. So this is going to be a 10v10. I don't know if you watched the recaps. You haven't seen these yet. So um, this hit Paul's right here for a second. So this is Lamb. Uh, he's going to actually uh, come in from up top here. Suicide heroes out. Um, this was just, you know, it's two two minutes four seconds. I mean, this is this is a crazy fast three star that he pulled out. So it's a sweet hit. Uh, he you know was able to, to get a scout, maybe even had two scouts on it. To be honest, um, he's going to drop in his wall breakers. Hits that ability. Queen's going to step up here and take out some trash. BK does the job. Queen's going to continue to just kind of come over here and finish cleaning up some garbage. But he's going to go ahead and start his Lalo here. So 
Um, perfect. Absolutely perfect. He gets enough loons coming from over here. They're going to shoot right up in that inferno. That's exactly what you're looking for. So he doesn't, uh, doesn't need to burn freeze on it. Now, this was the part that was actually really cool. Um, when he goes for this queen kill, I was very skeptical about how he was going to pull it off, but raising a skelly. I mean, it's just, as you can tell, he's already circled the rest of the base, and he's got another poison, and he's going to drop that haste to speed up right through this. I mean, that's it. That, that base is ripped, dude. And, I mean, the rest of it's clean up. He had, like, a ton of lava, or lava pups left, and he had a few minions that were sitting on the burner, and that was it, man. I mean, it's GG. Great hit, good plan. Everybody that worked with it, you know, that was solid. guys i think that's gonna be it um we had some sweet some really sweet uh 10 v 11s um save these guys their bases i don't want to burn any more than what i already have um but i mean we we used what seven hits on three bases for for the 11s and i think one of them was just to go after the, the higher percent two star so um i mean again our Town Hall 9s just crushed it. I mean, there are so many six-packs across the board. And then, basically, if you see a fail, it's from a Town Hall 9 hitting an 11 or, you know, trying something stupid on a 10. So, um, you know, great job all across the board on this one. You know, it's a great way to bounce back. We've had a pretty tough start to the season. Uh, you know, we faced quite a few really good clans so far. So, um, you know, Coming in the second week out of the bye week, I think, you know, this is a really good turning point for us, and I look forward to next week. So, good game to the Moochers. Um, you know, way to step it up. War Kings, good luck with you guys going forward. I'll see you all next week.